Hello friends, welcome to the sixth unit of this particular subject, Hydrology and Water Resource Engineering. This unit comprised of various structures associated with canal network and various terms like Varabandi and water management systems with respect to irrigation engineering. So today we will discuss about Varabandi. Before starting Varabandi, let us understand the structure of a canal network. Water of a river is diverted into a channel which is known as main canal using diversion from main canal water will be diverted into channels known as branch canals or distributaries. Main canals do not supply water directly to the fields. Instead, they are the main carriers of water which distributes the water to branch, sub-branch and distributaries. Each distributary is divided into miners or sub-miners. There are many outlets on a miner or a sub-miner which connects the farming locality to the public water distribution system. From outlets, water flows through water courses. On each water course, there are turnouts which are used to connect fields and water courses through a field channel. Each field channel will be having field inlets through which fields get water. This is the structure of the canal network which should be clear to the engineers who deal with water distribution system. As you can see, canal network and water distribution technology or distribution terminology includes following aspects like a water distribution system or canal network necessarily consists of a main canal which is a channel carrying water from a reservoir using diversion from a river or dam. As you can see in this figure, this is what the main canal which is taking out water from a river. This is the canal head regulator. From main canal, the water it is being conveyed to the branch canal. Further, this branch canal is conveying water to the distributary. After distributary water, it is conveyed to the miner and then to the water course and ultimately to the field. So all these components are the necessary components of an irrigation canal network. Then comes branch canal, a channel carrying water from main canal with a discharge more than 100 Q6. In general, there will be more than one branch canal coming out of the main canal. Distributary is a branch of canal, is a branch canal, is known as distributary if the discharge is between 25 Q6 to 100 Q6. Minor is channel carrying water from main canal, branch canal, distributary with a discharge capacity less than 25 Q6. Chuck is command area about 30 to 60 hectares with ungated outlet having fixed discharge of water corresponding to peak demand. Sub Chuck is the subdivision of Chuck typically about 5 to 8 hectares in size. Outlet is the inlet to a chuck with ungated fixed discharge device. Water course is the channel of taking from minor and having discharge between 0.5 to 1.5 Q6. So everything it is shown in this particular figure. Turnout is the inlet to a sub chuck with an open shed gate field channel channel taking supplementary channel taking supply from water course that is from turnout to field inlet field inlet is the inlet to a farm so necessarily you need to remember this figure to learn the layout of an irrigation canal system you have to consider that this river it is connected to the main canal this is the silt ex ex excluder 
this is the canal head regulator through which a constant head water supply can be maintained then after main canal there is a branch canal branch canal is further connected to a distributary then to the miner then water course and ultimately to the field now what is warabandi warabandi is an ancient term it is an age old term which is in local language it is vara and bandi so vara means uh, it is number of turns var and bandi means fixed fixation of the turns whenever there are n number of farmers in a particular locality then through a single supply of the main or branch canal they have to make sure that every farmer will get ample of water as per the requirement of their crops and the area rather commanded area so depending upon the area and depending upon the type of crop every farmer has right to take the water and for that the turns are fixed rotation basis turns are fixed they are called as varabandi varabandi is as the name suggest vara means turns and bandi means fixed refers to an institutional institutionalized framework whereby water is allocated in a rotational manner to different areas in an equitable manner proportional to the land owned by different land owners this system is a continuous rotation of water schedule where a rotation generally lasts for about a week time compensation is given to farmers for conveyance however individual crop requirements and issues of water logging and salinity is not accounted for this system is usually implemented with the help of central irrigation agency which manages the primary source and delivers waters to the outlet of a miner canal known as moga the cycle begins at the head and proceeds to the tail of the water course and during each turn the farmer has the right to use all the water flowing in the water course a central irrigation agency manages the primary main canal system and its secondary level distributary and minor canals and delivers water at the head of the tertiary level water course through an outlet popularly known as moga which is designed to provide quantity of water proportional to the culturable command area of the water course therefore what essentially forms the basis of the system is the ungated mogas which gives each land owner complete freedom to determine the amount of water they need in their scheduled time at least 70% of the head discharge of the main tributary should flow into the miners objectives of the varabandi are high efficiency and equity in water use functions and characteristics the varabandi system includes the following functions and characteristics among other thing the main the main canal distributing points operate at supply level that that would allow distributory distributory canals to operate at no less than 75% of full supply level only authorized outlets draw their allotted share of water from the distributory at the same time outlets are ungated and deliver a flow of water proportional to the area command then types of warabandi two major broad categories which mostly determine the type of warabandi practiced is that of kachcha warabandi and pakka warabandi kachcha warabandi mainly refers to the allocation of water between land between the land owners on their own mutual consent when this warabandi method becomes official documented by the authorities it is referred to as pakka warabandi about 50% of the land owners employ kachcha warabandi whereas other rest employ pakka system the pakka system of warabandi employed 
these days be further classified into official warabandi agreed warabandi and actual warabandi official warabandi refers to a fixed schedule which ensures a rigid dis distribution of water to ensure no flexibility and thus equitable distribution of water agreed warabandi refers to agreed warabandi refers to the allocation of water by the mutual consents of the land owners the third term actual warabandi is mostly a mixture of the four mentioned techniques which shows immense deviation from the official schedules the deviations occur both in terms of time and volume since actual distribution depends largely on cooperativity -op and socio economic demands this system appears to be quite inefficient and inconsistent since water allocation is not equitable neither officially documented in this particular system so here are the problems related with the warabandi since independence the system has been deteriorating due to the lack of maintenance corruption and mismanagement majority of the budget devoted to the water management system goes to the huge administrative structure while only a small portion is used to maintain and repair it as a result of the system is unable to hold the needs of today's irrigation needs for a fast growing population so this is what the warabandi is so in examination typically a question not less than 4 marks will be asked on short note on warabandi so you have to write down all these points together stating what is warabandi and uh, its uh, problems associated with and its uh, for the usage so i hope you have understood the concept hopefully if you have any query you can ask me on my email address dnpaitankar ce at sanjeevini.org.in thank you for listening happy learning